imis li jitħol fit-tank Salim Kureshi li se jipprezenta prodott li permezz tijaw iqarreb l-intelligenza artificiali lejn il-klassijiet. Hello Sharks, my name is Salim and I am the founder of a training company called Lincoln Method and today I'm here to ask for 70,000 for 30%. Sharks, the AI economy is here to stay, and it's going to be creating many, many new jobs. So, we decided to partner with schools and prepare students for this new AI economy. Imagine yourself in an interview setting, and if you meet one of our students for a, uh, as a job applicant, you will notice that our students will know a multitude of AI tools, such as Notion. They'll be able to organize all of your uh, policies and procedures, they'll know how to use another AI tool called InVideo, which will help them create marketing videos and online training videos. They'll know how to use another tool called Tome, which can take all of your notes and produce that into beautiful presentations. And not only that, but we also teach them IT skills, where they can take a look at your entire IT network infrastructure and see exactly where there are points of vulnerability. We are a team of educators and scientists from Finland, and we've developed our own proprietary education technology that uses AI and neurosciences, and we're able to map the learning patterns of any learner. We already have a successful venture that's running in South Asia, and now we want to bring this venture to Malta. And we hope to have Malta as our base so that we can expand into the European market as well as into the MENA region. Now, when we were looking at our competitive landscape, we realized that there are lots of parents who are sending their kids over to horse riding classes or ballet classes or, uh, or violin classes, and there's a certain demographic that is paying between 25 and 50 euros. And we decided, okay, why not choose us as one of your hobby clubs? Now, we are very confident of our numbers because we already have a lot of traction with the other ventures that we are running in South Asia. And so far, we've been able to do 34,000 online classes. Uh, we've been able to service 6,200 students, and we have 120 tutors on staff, and we have about 5,000 tutors who are looking for a job and want to work with us. This model is slightly different than hobby clubs because this is online tutoring, but it, the technology that is being used is almost the same. Now, which one of you sharks would like to come work with us so that we can educate the nation together? All done. So, <laughs> I have a lot of questions. I'm, I'm a bit confused. So, there's the hobby club, there's the online, there is teaching kids how to use AI for different functionalities. What is the hobby club exactly? Is it you partnering with the schools and using a classroom within the school for kids who are interested to learn how to use AI? Absolutely. What does it come in that you can read kids' facial expressions with one of your devices? Can you give us more information on that? We're able to take the camera of any learning device, whether it's a phone or a laptop, and we're able to scan the face of a child and look at the facial expressions and correlate that with the neural activity that's happening in the brain. And this indicates to the, uh, the teacher in a green light or a red light. If there's a red light, that means that the student is somewhat confused. I'd like to share with you that we're very fortunate that we had our first meeting yesterday with a school and they want to sign up with us, right? It, it, over here in Malta. And they made an amazing suggestion. They said that, why don't you train our teachers and pay them? I have two young boys, right? Age five and eight. Uh, how, how early can they start? So I started this whole program for my own daughters. I have a 13-year-old and I have an 8-year-old. And I'm very proud to tell you that our 13-year-old today is learning about quantum computing. Yeah. Right? And will you, will, you, will you be incorporating in Malta? Absolutely, absolutely. And you've applied for some grants with Malta Enterprise? Or... So yes, we That's have. That's the reason you're going to incorporate in Malta? Yes. I think it's very interesting. A question from my end. Yes. Who will manage the business locally? Who will be present on... on in so initially, uh, I am going to be over here to set everything up. Uh, this is a business that, that does not need... Uh, no, that does not need a lot of manpower, right? It just needs a set of very, very good managers. Salim, the 70K for the 30% would be on the local operations or on the international operations. Okay, so we want to, we don't have a venture arm that is, that is built for this particular region. So one of the reasons why we're coming to Malta is so that the 70,000 comes into this arm over here, and then we can expand from this arm so the billing 
the financial hub for this particular thing will all be in Malta. So the business model that you had mentioned and the financials that you mentioned before will be part of this equation. So you will not operate or you will still operate in Finland, but obviously the hub will be Malta. Is that Absolutely. correct? Absolutely. The other thing, have you considered also doing um, licensing or franchising? This is all in the works right now. Uh, a lot of these kinds of decisions start emerging once we see what kind of traction happens. Okay? Once we have the right amount of traction, it's at that point in time that we'll be able to understand, is a franchising model more profitable than a licensing model, or do we go it on, uh, on our own? Delving a bit more on the licensing aspect. So you mentioned that you, you are proprietaries of the AI facial expression um, 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 software. Because this exists already. Yes, you know, and it's, ours, it's, yes. it's exists, and 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 you can push it further, like in in some some instances where you can even understand through voice, um, AI, um, if that child or person is this is this in distress. Yes. And this or is exactly what we are working on right now. It's not developed yet, but we are working with all of these kinds of tools and techniques. So, in terms of the the material you'll be teaching. Nothing is proprietary, right? The material is not proprietary, no proprietary, rather. And it can be fluid, it can be changed according to new developments. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, I would like to make you an offer. I'm happy to give you the 70K for 30%. However, I, I, I'd like you to explain a little bit more how you'll be deploying the 70K. The money will be used primarily for uh, an acceleration team and uh, the rest of the money would be used for customer acquisition and marketing. I'll give you the 70K for 30% um, upon, upon the signing of an MOU with the government of Malta, which I'm sure will happen. Okay, could you define what that means? <laughs> A memorandum of understanding so I, that the government but... will be um, adopting this in, 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 in the state schools. What numbers? do you really envisage are going to be realistic for okay. the market here? We're just shy of 60,000 kids. 60,000. Yeah. Right, there are about 132 schools uh, within the market over here. If, if our first year's goal, uh, as you see on the screen, is 500 students per month, so, this is going to be relatively easy for us to achieve. I'm still a little unsure of your offer because I don't know if I can get the Maltese government to sign off on something. I'm, I'm postulating, I cannot make any yeah, guarantees. I'm but of course we have to see exactly what I'm is he teaching because with you know, this presentation we don't see... This is, look, look, the way I see it, I, I don't see this business as being very scalable. I see an opportunity here because, you know, of the progressive nature of the discussions being, you know, carried on in the minute regarding education and human capital. Okay, not so sure about the cost. This you could probably get from private schooling, but okay. you're not going to get that from state school for sure. I think it's all related to relevance of the subject. Uh -huh. The pricing here, this is no manufacturing, you know, you don't have an additional cost per... The pricing yes. can be flex. Yeah, but multi Flex to reflect numbers. With you economies have... of scale, yes. Yeah. Would you pay a person to train her? I pay great. 30 euros for... I used to pay <laughs> <laughs> 30 euros per hour. But obviously, if yeah, you're working that's... as a group, it's 5 or 8 euros well, per person. No. Salim, okay, so I'm, I'm, I'm going to um, give you my, my thought. Uh, I really like the idea of what you are doing, going online and, and uh, through, um, through uh, the message you're conveying. Um, unfortunately, for quite some obvious reasons in terms of price structures and, and, and scalability of this idea, I'm, I'm out. Thank you. Thank you. I love your idea. The numbers have to change totally here. I mean, this is a dream. I mean, 25 <laughs> euros per kid, it's unaffordable. So what numbers would you suggest? 10 euros? Work it on 7 euros an hour with 10 kids. What do you think? It's 10 euros, 7 euros with 10 kids. Yeah. Are we there? Are we right? So, seven so that's euros. 70 euros. Minus 12 for the uh, teacher. The, the so school doesn't want to give you the room. The school does not want a payback. The school does not want a commission. Yeah. The school is saying... And as its curriculum... If you can train our teachers, yeah. that is going to be the biggest value for us. You see, the, the, the gross margins are coming out very, very favorable any way you slice or dice this. Okay, can well, I, anyway, can I, 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 yeah, I'm out. I think well. I can, I can put Sorry. it over, Thank which is not exactly similar to, to Alex's. So, I have some contacts with private schools, quite good contact. I would be ready to, to invest 70K for 30%, but I would want that before we go and speak to two of these schools and to the reaction to, the, to, the, to your idea. If it's positive, if we're in, we will go with the investment. And I would welcome that. 
So you have one offer for two two, two schools, two private schools, schools, private, schools, private schools. schools, and you have the same offer but for with the government. government. Michael, yourself? I was going to put something very similar to your offer. If you want to join the idea, we can do so. I, I can do that with because you. we have the maybe the same contacts. Yes. We can, if you want, we can join the tree. So why don't you join the tree and we go? I, I'm I'm more than happy to do it with you too. So you have, more so you have a deal subject to us getting into either state schools or private school. Okay. You get that, you have your idea. So first of all, I'm very fortunate that I have uh, three sharks who are interested in what we're doing. Uh, I'm still a little foggy about the conditions, but... Uh, <laughs> I removed I... <laughs> the fog for you, can't be an it's, it's <laughs> the terms. <laughs> I'll do it in a very simple way. So we'll do the meetings in the coming uh, weeks. If we see positive feedback... If we see a positive feedback that we'll invest cool what needs to be is done. going to take up this proposal. Can you get your investment? We'll go ahead with the investment without any other... It's a good we do have the contacts. You are here, you're, you're on the island. This is a, you know, it's not a necessarily, you know, some big business investment for me, but more of a, let's call it an investment in my children's education. But, but that being said, I do believe in equality. I do believe that no one should be left out or left behind. And I, that's why I, I would like to insist that, you know, the importance of public schools like For it. me, it is it's very important. Yeah. The social aspect of this is very important. Like so if it's important for you, and if I'm your business partner, that means that it automatically becomes very important for me. Exactly. Uh, <laughs> I like you. I like <laughs> that's 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 how we should be thinking. Yeah. So okay. Salim, so, you have a decision. So I have a decision, and my decision is that I feel very fortunate. The okay. sun is shining for me Great. today. Thank Good. you so much. Thank you so much. May we shake? Of course. A pleasure. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. I'm most happy to have you on board. <laughs> thank you. All right, thank you. <laughs> That's great, guys. Well done. well done. It was very pleasant. I feel as if um, I feel as if a very big burden has come off of me, <laughs> and I feel very relieved. And I'm so fortunate to have received offers from uh, three sharks, and we are going to be working together. So I could not have asked for anything better. I think that they've given me some very, very positive feedback. And as an entrepreneur, uh, I listen more than I talk. So I'm going to be incorporating a lot of the feedback they've provided, and we'll be moving forward with whatever I've been, uh, uh, whatever has been suggested to me. <laughs>